to Dream High School Port. Today we'll be talking about upcoming changes in education and the changes it will have on the school. We have our local MP Paul Burstow and some teachers' opinions on the subject. So to start, Mrs Morgan wants England to become the best in English and maths by the end of 2020 in Europe and would also like to increase the amount of students attaining 5 plus good GCSEs whilst banning recess. Now down to Nathan who has been interviewing Paul Burstow for his opinion. Thank you Jamie. I've been here with Paul Burstow, our local MP, to ask him his opinion on Mrs Morgan's statement. Well, it's, it's something which the, uh, the coalition government has been uh, keen to subscribe to and uh, certainly I as a, as a Liberal Democrat MP would support that ambition. Uh, I think the truth is if you look across England uh, and look at uh, performance in maths, uh, you will find parts of the country that are at or if not above the average for Europe. So. We also interviewed Emily Brothers, the Labour MP, and Paul Scully, the Conservative MP, for their opinions. They have. So I think basically the um, the, the measure uh, isn't robust enough in terms of the target. We of course do want to overall increase um, educational attainment, and we want. I think it's something you've got to aspire to. Um, you know, comparative, uh, comparative tables around Europe show that we've been slipping down the lead tables, although grades have been going up over, over constantly over a few years, actual standards haven't necessarily kept up with that, so it's really important. Well, but, uh, a possible problem with this could be lots of pressure on teachers to help attain these targets. Now to our Head of Year for his opinions on this problem. Uh, teachers are increasingly under pressure with lots of different um, demands, um, allowing pupil attainment to get, uh, for students to attain five A star to C's with, um, in, including English and Maths, is obviously a big pressure for, for teachers because we want obviously all our students to attain everything. However, maybe not all students are in the same boat in terms of um, academic ability, hence why. Because of the new curriculum being brought in, it is possible that religious studies may be dropped. We went and talked to some religious teachers for their say on the subject. Really disappointed. I think uh, religious studies is a necessary subject that we should have to teach um, around the world. If you used to go travelling and you didn't have um, religious studies, you wouldn't know anything about different cultures. Well, I think it would be such a shame because I think there's so much that we can learn from religious studies. You know, it's so important to learn not only about what you believe, but you know, figure out what other people believe and understanding. And why people do the things that they do, why people act the way that they do. By learning that, we can understand each other, that can bring about tolerance, empathy. So to take it out would be disastrous. And that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching. This has been Jamie reporting for the BBC School Report. Goodbye.